Hi, everyone, and welcome to Creative Chelsea. Today, I'm excited to be sharing with you my fourth alternative project using the June 2022 Paper Pumpkin Kit called Pick Up the Crop. This fun kit created nine cards. If you're interested in watching me unbox this kit so that you can see everything that came inside, or if you'd like to see some of my other alternative projects, you can click on my playlist and I'll link it up here in the top right corner. Today we're going to be using up some of those scraps we have left over from the other alternative projects we've created. And we're also going to be using the stamps that come in the kit. If you watched my second alternative project using the blender pen, we're going to be using that again today as well. If you are new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, click on the subscribe button and then the bell for notifications. I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator and help you with any of your paper crafting needs. To purchase any of the products you see me use today or to get your own Paper Pumpkin subscription, please use the links in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started. So when I was creating, this is the first card that I made and it uses up the um, scraps from yesterday's card. So we've got the back of the card base and I'm going to go ahead and cut this to four and three sixteenths. So next I'm going to cut the triangle piece that's left over. There is a little bit of color showing from the picnic that um, we re used yesterday. So I'm just going to go ahead and line that up and remove it so that I don't have any of that pink showing. And then I'm going to trim this down to four and three sixteenths as well. There's just a little bit that needs to come off. So now I'm going to stamp some blueberries randomly on my card base. So I'm going to place the um, triangle at the bottom just so that I can get some ideas on how far down I need to stamp my blueberries. And I'm going to start by stamping one in the bottom right corner and one in the top left corner. And then I can kind of connect those two together with some other stamps. And these don't have to be um, touching or really close to each other. They can be pretty random. I just wanted to create kind of a pile of blueberries. Just as if they had scattered on my countertop. I do want to leave a little space for my greeting. Maybe a couple up here all by themselves and one alone over there. So something like that. And then I do need a couple that to uh, cut out and put near my greeting. Okay. So you're going to do something like this. Next, we're going to use the blender pen and we're going to add color to our blueberries. You can see that I've um, added color to the cardstock um, on the bottom as well as added color to my uh, fussy cut ones that I will be fussy cutting. So just make sure it's clean. And then for the ones on the blue cardstock, you don't really need to do too much blender pen because it's they're already blue. So just kind of add a little bit as a shadow. And you can do as much or as little as you want for the color. I'm just going in and tapping my blender pen onto my ink pad. Some are a little darker than others, that's okay. Okay, so you'll get something that looks like this. Then I'm going to do the same here for my blueberries on the white cardstock. This time I am going to color them all the way in, just kind of like we did for that alternative the other day. And if you start to see your Night of Navy ink go a little bit purple, that's okay too. 
Okay, so I did cut those out and now we can start putting some of these things together. So let's go ahead and start putting this card together. I've got a card base of thick basic white cardstock and I'm just going to go ahead and add my light blue piece to the front. And there will be a slight um, border all the way around because we did cut off. Oh, I didn't cut it off the bottom. So let me get my paper trimmer out and we need to cut. Let's do it from, we'll do it from the bottom. So I'm going to just remove 1 16th. So that's going to be 5 and 7 16th from the um, height of that card base. So we'll go ahead and add that now. Tiny little border. Then we're going to add our triangle at the bottom. Okay, so we'll get something that looks like this. Then we're going to take a piece of vellum and the vellum is two and a half inches by three inches. And I am going to tear the bottom just a little bit. I am have enjoyed using this technique for many of my projects this month. Normally I would not just add adhesive um, without something on it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and add it because I do know that that area is going to be covered up. So just somewhere on the right side of your card base. This just kind of separates the colors so that um, your main focal point um, kind of pops even though they're all the same color. So it kind of helps to separate those layers. Next I'm going to take my greeting which I've already stamped and tear the bottom of that. This piece is um, two and a quarter inches long and it was one and a quarter inches um, tall. Then I'm also going to take one of those small rectangle pieces. If by chance you don't have any more of these, then you could use the green or even pink side of an envelope scrap. And I am going to tear this as well. Just trying to decide which side to tear. Let's do this side here. Okay, I'm going to attach this now to my greeting, something like that. And then all I have to do is just trim off the um, extra. Okay, so you'll get something like this for your greeting. And then this will get popped up with dimensionals. And we're going to place that right along the right edge, just like that. Then we'll take our blueberries and add these. One of them will get tucked underneath our greeting, and it will have a dimensional. And then these other two I can add with glue dots. You only really need one glue dot for each piece. So maybe do one at the top and then an, another one slightly angled a little closer to the greeting. So something like that. Doesn't need to be perfect. You can add some embellishments. I have some of the white baker's twine and I did cut this um, into a 10 inch piece and created a bow and I'm adding it with just a little bit of a glue dot underneath. Just want those a little smaller. And that card is all done. So the strawberry card is created in exactly the same way. I'll just walk you through some of the little differences. So the bottom here is from a envelope scrap. And all you need to do to create this angle is to first cut a two inch strip. 
So you can cut that from either the flap or um, the more solid piece. It's your two inch strip. I'm gonna trim off the little green side. So now I'm going to cut the length to four and three sixteenths. And then you just connect the angles. So you go from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. And you are ready for your card. So that's how you can create that particular angle. If you want your lines to go different ways, then you you may have to um, change the way you position your scraps so that you can get different angles. But um, that's how you can create that triangle at the bottom. And then you can just use your scrap piece here to tear for this bottom piece. Okay, so you can see you would just tear that along there, okay? And then let's talk a little bit about the stamping. So this is a Blushing Bride piece of cardstock and it is the same as the blue one. So it's been cut to four and three sixteenths by five and seven sixteenths. I've just stamped with Calypso Coral and used the blender pen to add a little bit of shadow and color. And then here for my um, fussy cut out strawberries, I used two colors and it's exactly the same technique that I used when um, I made my alternative number two. But I will go ahead and share that with you again. So with your strawberry stamp on a clear block, you're gonna first ink up the fruit part with Calypso Coral. Let me give you a close up. So I'm using the edge of the ink pad to um, only ink up the area I want. And then I'm going to ink up the leaves in garden green. And then you can go ahead and stamp that. And that's gonna give you that two-tone color. And then you can take your blender pen, and just like we did, I'm gonna start with the green. I'm going to add a little color to the leaves, and then clean it. You can just clean it by rubbing it on some scratch paper until it runs clear. And then do the um, same thing we did before. Add a little bit of Calypso Coral with your blender pen to um, your strawberry. Just like that. And then you're gonna fussy cut that out. The last thing is I did stamp the greeting in the garden green, just to add a little bit more of that green color to my card. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me create these fun cards using the scraps from the previous alternative projects. If you're interested in getting written instructions or seeing close-up images of these cards, you can visit my blog, creativechelsea.com. If you'd like to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, please use the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. Have a creative day. Bye.